Thank you. Hey, it's good to see everyone here. Cedric, wonderful presentation and all the friends I have here around, just uh, seeing the faces. So fun to be back with you. Yeah, I want to give you an update. I um, personally turned in my retirement letter and it got accepted this week. So I've got 24 days to work. Now that kind of is a special situation. I only work one day a week. So I told him I'd work to the end of December. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> I may still see some people after that and keep my license, but I want to be able to devote full time to on passive. We talked a lot today about cutting back and slimming down and Red said he pretty much gave up everything else to do uh, on passive. And that's what I've decided to do also. My other MLM and um, side businesses, I had about five or six of them going when I started on passive. And one by one, they've all slid by the wayside as the on passive message gets clearer and I understand it better. It's got the most unique structure. Ash was uh, talking when I was in Orlando in his office. And you remember when he cut those pieces of paper up and put every one of the O's on them and started spreading them around? Well, in that same few minutes, that same time, and that video just got put up on the web recently, so it's out there now. And that, that little snippet where he was cutting up that paper talks about the one thing that I asked, asked me, what is it that if you had a superpower, what would you want? And I would want to have everybody understand that this is not your ordinary opportunity. It's unique. The uniqueness of this opportunity should not be missed. And I know, and you know, that most people you talk to miss it. They do not understand how significant this opportunity, this blessing is that we're offering people. It hurts me. My heart hurts when I present this to somebody that I know and love and they don't accept it. That's how bad I feel because I know what's going to happen positively for, for the company to grow. And all they have to do is put in their 97. And so that's the one issue you know i'm always talking to people about timing it's coming jump in before it starts you know before the launch and so i know you feel like i do a lot of times you feel like the boy who cried wolf you told people it's coming you told people it's going to launch soon sometimes we make a mistake and say we think it'll launch by the end of 2020. sometimes we say we think it'll launch by easter and so we we indicate maybe a date and that's really worse so we've learned not to give dates and specific times because we're, we're looking for excellence not a date to launch by but i know that people get burned by having friends understand that the boy who cried wolf never gets listened to and we all run through our friends they all join they want to join and, and then we kind of run up against a wall we can't find anybody else to get in that's in our friend group because, you know, we've been saying it's going to go for three years now, or in my case, a year and a half. I've been in a year and a half. And, um, you know, you have to go back to the potential and you say, this still has the most potential of anything that we've ever been involved with. I got involved in March of 2020 and I, started telling my friends about the MSIs, multiple sources of income that they could have. And I, I was talking right then about having a position in on passive, which was an MSI for for their whole life to go along with other things they were doing, because I was doing five or six other things at the time. A dental practice, a uh, health, health product, and I was also doing marketing for some dental uh, marketing company so a lot of things but when I started talking about MSIs I was only talking about one position in on passive as one of my MSIs 
And so as I put other things to bed and started focusing on, on passive, I've come to believe we have an opportunity for multiple MSIs within on passive. It's not just multiplying your other business plus letting your position be multiplied by on passive. Think about it this way. Every position you buy is a separate MSI. And so I've been telling people to do the family legacy, family dynasty thing for over a year now. I've been preaching, you're not fully invested in on passive if you don't have your entire family with a position. So a lot of people have double, tripled the number of positions they have because of that. This, le this last week, I, I wrote a post that was talking about MSIs in another way. Ash has 50 products that we, we're gonna roll out. Okay, each one of those is an MSI, each one of those. So I wrote a post that said, if you had 10 positions and the 50 products, that means you actually have 500 MSIs because there are 500 different products that people want when you have 10 positions marketing those 50, that's 500. Now, what if three or four months later, on passive or you, by your effort, puts in 100 new customers underneath and you're gonna get a commission off of all those customers. And so it goes from 500 MSIs to 5,500 MSIs paying you money. Three or four months later, those 600, 700 different people that have joined are gonna be having more customers under them. And as they do, you're up to 55,000 multiple sources of income where you get a piece of every one of the sales. Three or four months later, it might go up. You have 10,000 members in your team. You know, I expect to have thousands of people added per month. And if you if you keep expecting that, it's gonna happen. And so you're up to half a million MSIs with those 50 products, with those 10,000 customers. It just keeps going. And so there's this conversation that, that's been bandied about back and forth on some um, messenger and some telegram and places about well, you can get this for this product for free over here. Why would you buy on passive? Or everybody's wanting to know the small ball answer. Well, the thing is, on passive is a home run. On passive knocks it out of the park. We're not hitting singles here. And the final thing I want to tell you about is I always, as a dentist, I always start with the end in mind and I want to create something i figure out what i want to create and i see it in my mind before i start and so it's, it's a lot like michelangelo when he looked at that marble he didn't see a chunk of marble he saw david inside the marble and he chipped away everything that was not david and when david showed up everything that was not david had been chipped away had been discarded and that's what we have to do in our lives is we have to look at the final thing we want and we have to exclude everything in our life that keeps us from getting to that place you know don't be sidetracked by the shiny objects or go down the rabbit trails other things that might tend to entice us to go this way or that way i mean we might be enticed to put some money in the bitcoin market and try to make a big impact but i looked at it the other day and i go i can put a hundred dollars here and it might go up to $200 if I was, you know, 100% return. But if I put $100 in on passive, it might go up to a million, but not just one time. Every month, when it goes up to a million, it'll be a million the next month and the next month. So it might take about three or four or five years to get to a million, we don't know. But one position will be a million dollar business in a year for the income for a year. And then the next year it might be 2 million. It's gonna grow. So start with the end in mind, take away everything that's not there and you'll end up 
with quite a result. And so El Paso to me is like the statue of David. It's perfect in every way. And it's made by a master artist. And what we, we've got in our hands is a priceless piece of art.